I had the opportunity to screen the first two episodes of a brand new Crunchyroll series called Solo Leveling, which premieres this Saturday, January 6th on Crunchyroll. And here are my initial thoughts of those first two episodes. In the world of solo leveling, portals have been opening up across the planet for about 10 years. They reveal monsters that come and travel to Earth from other dimensions. Humans have been granted supernatural abilities in order to fight these monsters and protect Earth. Who opened the portals? No idea. Who granted them these powers? Also no idea. But it's early enough in the story, it only being 10 years old, uh, there are a lot of unknowns, which means there's a lot of possibility for discoveries uh, along the way. The main character of the show that we follow, his name is Sung, and he is of the lowest ranked possible hunters, uh, and he is only allowed to enter the lowest ranked portal gates uh, in order to make an income as a hunter and fight demons and monsters. Now, the first episode is very standard. Uh, it played out very typically like a uh, opening episode of any anime out there. And it's just uh, looking to introduce us to this world, the lowest possible ranked monsters. And uh, you one can only assume that over the course of the series, you will get introduced to stronger monsters. But we immediately get introduced to really, really strong monsters in only the second episode, which is night and day in comparison to the first episode. In the second episode, Sung joins a squad that is going through a portal that is supposed to be a very low ranked portal, but it ends up being this extremely dangerous dungeon. They actually have to solve puzzles in order to survive and escape this dungeon. It's extremely dangerous and we don't even see the finale of it. This dungeon is so grand in scale and uh, you, one can only assume that the, the, the power levels of the beings uh, behind it are so powerful. Um, I was shocked that we got introduced to such strong beings immediately. And I have not read this uh, manga, so I have no idea where this story is going to go. But episode two left us on such an amazing cliffhanger. I'm really interested to see where this story goes. Now, the first episode did do a great job of showing us how dangerous it is to be a hunter. But the second episode was much darker and definitely made it seem like everyone in the show is expendable. And uh, that definitely is the case because there are very few character introductions in the first episode and not many make it past the second. Really shows how dark the show will get and I'm all here for that. 